figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. The race for the division continues to heat up as two of the best square off next. Patrick Corbin gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey this guy has really struggled coming into this game right. The league is hitting just under 300 against this guy and that's something he really needs to improve on. And it'll be interesting to see if that trend continues in this start here. And now in the box Jeff McNeil and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The second baseman. Number six. First pitch coming here it is lifted in the air to shallow center field in comes the center fielder he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out that the third baseman J.D. Davis J.D. Davis the next to bat. Now here's the first offering and they start him out away with a cold strike. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker change up combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. From the windup the one one pitch. Line down the left field line. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Into the windup and the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Castro's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. Next for the Mets, Dominic Smith. His career batting line with Patrick Corbin. He's a 375 hitter. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now the 1 0. Lifted down the line in left. The 1 1 is in there for the second strike. Two out, nobody on. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. The two two, one more time. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Jacob deGrom gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey Matty D we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under one point zero zero in his last three starts not a lot of base runners and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today into the box Trey Turner it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0 and 1. These Mets fellas as they take the field here today they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah Maddie, no excuses anymore. April May go by you kind of cut your teeth try and find clubhouse chemistry execute on the field. We're in June now. This is a good harbinger of what's to come and this team's playing well expect them to be in the race for a while. Breaking ball yep. below the zone that's ball one. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. Here's the pitch. Count three 
Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. The batting average down in the low two tens. Two home runs and 16 RBIs. Into the corner and slicing foul. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Here now is Juan Soto. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The 0-1 on its way. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's totaled four hits in 21 at-bats. He also has one home run. Now look out as this one sends him sprawling. It's ball two now. And right into the shift. Scooped up and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. An inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network. Second inning coming up and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, it's fairly dry down here right now, but I am told there's a bigger threat of rain later in the game. It's not entirely clear how severe it's going to get, but we could be facing a weather delay if the storm front passes over the ballpark. For now, let's hope for the best. Yeah, Heidi, thank you. And guys, certainly having a fresh bullpen ready for a game like this one will be an important step towards a victory. No doubt, Maddie. And there's rain on the horizon. You want to get depth. You want to score early as an offense, get some depth and some length out of your starting pitching and hand it over to that fresh bullpen. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Hey, d one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes, because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. Still no balls and two strikes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One ball, two strikes. Down.
Alonzo aboard here at first with nobody out. And he takes three, ball three, so it's a full count now. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Here's the payoff pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Gloved by Castro. On to first, and they get the double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Conforto. So here is Michael Conforto, and as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Josh Bell. Josh Bell. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hey, hey this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Fouled off. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Batting fifth. So base. next to bat will be Yon. Jan Gomes. Go. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Count even at one and one to the Nationals first baseman. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Bottom of the second here with no score. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Smith is camped under this one and he's got it for out number two. Here's Starlin Castro and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First offering on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. In the center field, line drive base hit. 
You know, Dero, it's not always easy to hit in the day games. That First five tough. hitters, five up, the five catcher. down. Six hole Five hitter, up. though. He must have gotten Lower. a good night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep rolling out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six hole guy was locked in the order. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 0 1 on its way. Ball one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Nope. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Castro is off of first with two away. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Pilar finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Nationals leave one. Will move to the third with no score. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pilar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pilar, the former Colorado Rocky, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Next up from New York, James McCann. First pitch on its way. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. 2 0 now. Two and one after the foul ball there. Third inning, no score to this point. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Standing in now, Jacob DeGrom, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Hey, make no mistake about it, this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. The one one home. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he got him. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. 
That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. Swing and a miss here and he's behind in the count now 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Mets leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. We're back now as the Nationals ready to bat in the third inning. And as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. Entering the day, they find themselves near the top of the league in runs scored. One player told me, when it comes to putting up numbers on the board, it's a total team effort. Everyone has their role. And even when one guy fails, we know the next guy is going to do his best to pick him up. Another hitter told me, we hit as a unit. We just try to keep the line moving as long as we can every inning. Seems like they're on the same page, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Victor. Now to the plate. Here is Victor Robles. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Batting done. So the one out and nobody aboard, Patrick. and that sends Patrick Go Corbin there. to the plate next. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And it's fouled away. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Fouled away. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning. Now batting. So stepping in is Trey Turner. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it though. You'll have a few A.B.'s where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in this at bat. Owen won the count. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Nationals gone in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, J.D. Davis. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. 
Boy, after that base knock right there, Dero, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Stepping in now, Dominic Smith. Ball one to start the at bat. Davis gets his lead at first, nobody out. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Three and oh now. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Lifted the other way down the left field line. A runner at first with no outs here. Grounded to first. And that's through for a hit. Bell scoops it up. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. A base hit in his first trip. Here's the 0 1. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. The one two gets him looking strike three. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. So here's Francisco Lindor now as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. To the plate now, Michael Conforto. Slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. That evens it up one and one. Porto behind the ball and two strikes. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. The runner from third crosses the plate and they've taken a one nothing lead. 
this has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far. So any way you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. Digging in next Kevin Pillar fly down in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's set and the pitch. Well. The set and the 1 0. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's 1 and 2. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. Ready with the one two to two balls and two strikes now. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two then you put the runners in motion. Two and two here it is. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy on the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too now fine back. there and a walk is the result. Game. Well the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Next to hit is James McCann one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. First pitch on its way. Lays off one and oh. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. The set and the 2 and 0 hit the other way out toward right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The runner from first crosses the plate. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. Base is loaded and he was looking to drive them all no, in the second he no, stepped no. into the box. Puts a big swing on this thing and the ball just gets down to the wall allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three run double every day of the week. So now to the plate Jacob DeGrom as he'll take a look at ball one really starting to pour now and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement Matt in particular that pitcher's mound you know one of the things you have to really be careful not just for the position players but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. The 1 1 is strike two swinging. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. Four runs here in this half inning.
well above the letters with the fastball that time. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Well that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? Uh, when you find Number yourself six. in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So here's Jeff McNeil. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First offering on its way. Four runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Yeah guys he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle and that's through into center field base hit. Now a long throw home and they're not going to get him he's in there at the plate. Everybody has bad days at the office including starting pitchers. He's given up five runs in this inning alone and you have to wonder how long the manager's going to stay with him. Not long I would bet. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering of boos after what can be described as really a subpar performance. Ryan Harper answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. At the plate, J.D. Davis fouled off. A hit in two tries for him so far. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Mets out in front, five to nothing. So now here is Ryan Zimmerman. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch on the way. Wow I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And there's ball two now. Ball two. 
And he misses again, ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. This is only their second base runner of the game after that action. earlier hit. Tough to don't score when you win. don't have anyone on oh. base, so we'll see if they can get something Soto. going here. Juan Soto to the plate now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And he lays oh, off for ball day. one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Zimmerman on at first, nobody out. And that's swung on and missed. So good work on the mound will take care of the National League's leading hitter, and there's one away. Boy, this guy has really good like stuff so far on this 19. one. How about seven Ks, and we're just in the middle innings of this yeah. one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. First time up, he went down looking. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. One one. Count still at one and two. Alonzo might try to make a play on it. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. To two balls and two strikes now. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. The 2 2 hit on the ground toward the left. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. The first baseman, number 10. Yon. Go. In now, Jan Gomes. As it's grounded sharply to first. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One left for Washington. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. And back in our nation's capital before we get too much further on the field let's check in with Heidi. Matt during the break I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far and overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at bats from the very first pitch and that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message as now they've gotten into the bullpen and they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the left-handed bat of Dominic Smith.
First pitch coming. Here it is. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. One pitch, one swing of the bat, and they've got a man in scoring position just like that. On the mound, he's probably happy it stayed in the yard. He jumped all over the first thing he saw and almost got to round the bases. So here's Pete Alonzo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Harper typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to tack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty V, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. Hit in the air to center field. Robles waits on it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch of the AB on its way. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect. But if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Here comes the 1 2. Smith stands at third with one gun in the inning. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Here's the pitch on two and two. Lifted down the line and left. Soto has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. And now here is Michael Conforto, runner in scoring position with two gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah Matt we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that especially these days that can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch but it's one and one. Breaking ball that's in the dirt as he takes a ball. A man on third with two down. And oh he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here two and two now.
still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full 3-2 and two here. Now on 3-2 and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And the payoff pitch hit softly down the line at first. And the pitcher will just run over and take this one himself, and the inning is over. Met strand one as they're unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results until they start being more selective with their swings. He said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Nationals. The second baseman, Starlin Castro. Now the first pitch. This is one and one. Here it comes. Swing and he pops him up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Count is even at two and two to Starlin Castro. Guide down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. Up next to so the next to bat will be Tyler Flowers. Tyler Flowers. First pitch on its way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Now the 0 2 pitch. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. A ball and two strikes, the count to Tyler Flowers. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded weakly toward third. Davis has got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Victor Robles digging in now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah and he didn't put up much of a fight either Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One ball no strikes the count. The 1 0. Hit well down the left field line but back into the crowd foul. Now the one and one pitch.
little dribbler down the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Washington. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in the outfielder, Kevin Pillar. Kevin From the stretch. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. Misses down below the knees. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Castro ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. Boy he showed Catcher. some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off but he clearly had it under control. Standing in now, James McCann. And he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Popped up. Turner is under it. Two down. Stepping in once again is Jacob deGrom. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. The 1 0 home. And this guy can hit a little bit too, so you just can't lay one in there 2 and 0. And he fouls this one off. Now the 2 1. Two out, nobody on. Still even at two and two. The pitch. Now a swinging bunt. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. But they hold a 5 0 lead. Josh Harrison is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's three for 15. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ah, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0 and 2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound his zone with all different options. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. 
up next to the national. Here now is Trey Not Turner. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch heading out towards shallow right and he will make the play out there and there are two away now now, now into the box Ryan Zimmerman he's oh, 0 for yeah. 1 thus far Zimmerman. here's the first pitch to him in there strike one. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Line that's a base hit. So now with two away, the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. And they keep the inning alive now with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third oh. hit. He's given up the entire game, so, so he's still in total control out there. Next to stand in is Juan Soto. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Stretch. Here's the pitch. Hey, a two-out single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Josh Bell the next to hit. Left side, but well foul. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he takes this one high, one and one. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is low, ball 2. 2 and 1. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Nats leave a pair. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 0. Jeremy Jeffress will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. The second baseman, number six. And now the first pitch. That's a ball. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Hey. 
right strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone one and two. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Weak grounder back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next to the net. Now with the plate is J.D. Davis struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First pitch on the way. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them potential double play situations or to get that jam job with no one on base that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Just hung in there on that one. Another two two offering. Hit back up the middle. Turner has it. And there are two away now. Next up is Dominic Smith. So far, two for three in this one. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Stepping in now, Pete Alonzo. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. He's going to have to figure out a way to get out of the middle of the plate. Just gave up a big bomb right there, and now he's missing right down the heart of the plate again. Could spell one trouble ball. for him. Two one and two now. And now a pitch on the way. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Mets six and the Nationals nothing. Last half of the seventh here, and that means the catcher Jan Gomes bats next. Jan Gomes. First offering on its way. Now a bouncing ball for the shortstop Lindor. And that's out number one. So we still got a shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he finds himself in a flat footed tie for the National League lead in that category. 
So now into the box is Starlin Castro. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The pitch. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Fouled off. And that misses two and two. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. The 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball out to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third. And Castro makes it all the way around to third with a triple. Well, we've been waiting for an opportunity like this since the game started. One out, and our first run is 90 feet away. The challenge now is to get him home. Next to hit, Tyler Flowers. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Now here's the first offering. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. These guys are pros and they're tough, but I know that one hurt. He'll never show it, though. Too much pride at stake. Now at the plate, Victor Robles. And they're runners at the corners now. First pitch coming, here it is. No balls and a strike to count. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Counts even at one and one to Victor Robles. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. Here it comes on one and one. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this now guy in this series. This is pitcher. a really good hitter. Jeremy. And it's not easy to make a guy Jeff strike Hunt. out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. Drew Mendoza will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready with the 1-0. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. He was on cruise control the entire game, but he gets brought back to reality here. An RBI double gets them on the board. And now that they've broken the dam, we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. 
So his final line will show six and two third innings pitched. He was very effective out there, no doubt. Jordan Yamamoto takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Speedy Trey Turner digs in now as he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The 1 1 makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. I understand wanting to be aggressive, but I also understand that you can occasionally be foolish. That's a foolish swing right there. This guy's been struggling to find the zone, and you might have just bailed him out. Lifted down the line and left. Flowers, the runner at third, Mendoza on at second with two down. High in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. And that's the third out. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for the Nationals. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets six and the Nats one. Tanner Rainey has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Out of the plate, Francisco Lindor in his career versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1 and 0. Ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 2 0 count, the pitch. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The 2 1 home takes a pitch for strike number two. And he fouls this one off. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. I know he buried that slider in right there but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside it leaks out over the plate he can get hurt with that pitch. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. And it's fouled away. Here comes the payoff pitch. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound is completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. The white field. At the plate now is Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point.
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Too low. One and zero. Oh. Change up low. Two and zero. Oh. Bases are empty. One man out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Fouled away. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped him up. Camping under it is Zimmerman. And that's out number two. Now batting. Striding in is Kevin Pilar. No hits to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Two balls and no strikes to the Met center fielder. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Now the 2 1 pitch. James McCann would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Three and one pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a three one count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Daniel Hudson takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Next here is James McCann career line against Daniel Hudson. He's one for two. Now the first pitch. Two out with the man at first. And he looks at a slider in there one and one. That's in there on the outer half one and two now. He's looking pretty passive here hitting with a chance to drive in a run going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Two and two to the Mets catcher. This is foul right side. A runner on first with two away. Now a throw over. A dive, but he's back. Here's another 2 2. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And strike three called as he says you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Mets leave one. They lead it six to one.
Striding in now for the Nats, Ryan Zimmerman. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the A.B. now. And it looks now like a right-hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Two and zero now. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers. And when you're losing, you can't always choose how you get on base. But you've got to get on any way that you can. So he'll take that, even though it probably hurts a little bit. To the plate now, Juan Soto popped him up. McCann moving to his left makes the play one away. Digging in the switch hitter Josh Bell. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the stretch. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. This is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality A.B.'s. Now a cutter but that's in the dirt for a ball. Zimmerman the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Popped up Davis is there makes the play and there are two gone now and he will hustle back to first as he thinks better of trying to move up. So two down now in the Washington eighth and that means the catcher Jan Gomes bats next. First offering. Two out with the man at first. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. The 2 0. -oh. Fly ball right down the line and left. Smith gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Nationals leave one. They trail six to one. Will Harris enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Brandon Nimmo will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. He's set. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. The numbers on the year 272 11 home runs and 31 RBIs. One and one. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Pitch on the way. On they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Now the pitch. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, too. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. 
and he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out. The battle. Now back number to six. the top of the lineup stepping in Jeff McNeil career numbers against Will Harris. He's hitless in three at bats. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch and this is taken outside for ball one. And he misses again 2 and 0. Oh. That's a good pitch to lay off right there that cutter inside and that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of and a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Here it comes 2 and 0. Oh. Now a little looper down the left field line and that'll get down for a base hit. Boy this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately and there's just another example and even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel he still manages another base hit. Yeah don't overthink it when you're flowing like he is right now he's hot as a pistol everything's falling. At the plate now J.D. Davis and it's fouled away. He's got one hit in four at bats. Here's the 0 1. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Runners on first with one down. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal. Hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire. But looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Has a look. Now the pitch. Dominic Smith stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball into the second deck and gone. A two run blast to straight away right field his second home run of the game as this is now a seven run ball game. Second home run of the game right there he is locked in at the plate you hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. At the plate, Pete Alonso. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Left fielder looking up. Gone! Back to back jacks on back to back pitches. A solo shot here to left. Home run number 16 for him on the year as they've widened this lead to eight now. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Wander Suero comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Now 
Into the box now, Francisco Lindor. As he'll take a look at ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And, oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Three runs already home here. And that one got a piece of them. And now Michael Conforto flew out last time up. Almost Matty almost went deep his last A.B. certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. That one's down around the knees taken for a strike. You got to love guys auto taking you. Oh, oh, if you're on the mound, you could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Lindor, the runner at first with two gone. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Has a look now the pitch in the dirt here perfect throw and they got him at second so two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard sixth seventh and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine it's the Mets nine and the Nats one Jacob Barnes a six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. So here's Starlin Castro starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Now the pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Lifetime in this matchup. He's hitless in three at bats. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Cut fastballs in for a strike two and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive. Smith is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Well, we've it. mentioned Catch the conditions it. aren't Tyler. ideal with the rain coming down, and Lower. that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Ready now is Tyler Flowers. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch on its way. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. On the move is Pilar. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. 
Up next, to Victor Robles. He was sat Victor. down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Ball one. Whoa, not sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. Two and zero to the National center fielder. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. Two balls and a strike. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. And there's a fastball well off the plate Three inside. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Last strike now for the Nats. Fouled away. And this is a strike three called and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. Nine to one is the way this one ends. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jacob deGrom earns win number seven on the season picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Patrick Corbin couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious.